people are germ phobic. We seem to think that we need to live in a world that's absolutely sterile. That's not a good thing to do. When you buy a product that kills 99.9% .9 of germs, you have to ask yourself, what about the 0.1% that this product doesn't kill? Because they're the only bacteria that are left on that surface or on your hands. And they're the ones that are going to multiply and recolonize that surface. You have to then ask yourself, well, now if I use the same product again, is it going to kill 99.9% .9 of those germs that were remaining? And probably it's not going to. Antibiotics are chemicals that humans use to kill bacteria. They're usually naturally occurring chemicals. We use them at very high concentrations that they're never found in natural environments. We've used them to control bacterial infection since about the 1950s. In the 1960s, people thought that we had overcome bacterial disease by the use of antibiotics, but it very quickly became apparent that bacteria were becoming resistant to antibiotics, so we face a future where we will not be able to control bacterial diseases at all. What we've been doing over the last maybe 10 years is examining where do antibiotic resistance genes and antibiotic resistant bacteria come from. Every time we release an antibiotic into the environment, there's a whole series of organisms out there that have never been exposed to antibiotics. Those bacteria may become antibiotic resistant and come back to infect humans as emerging pathogens. When we buy antibiotics on prescription, that's the first step in antibiotics appearing as pollutants in the environment. Because while we're taking an antibiotic dose, most of that dose is being excreted through the kidneys. What that means is antibiotics appear in high concentrations in waste streams and they're not removed by waste treatment. Small levels of antibiotics raise mutation rate. They raise the rates at which DNA recombines. They raise the rate at which bacteria can acquire genes from other bacteria. All three of those things, ironically, increase the probability that a bacterium is going to become antibiotic resistant. So low levels of antibiotics actually promote the possibility that antibiotic resistance can appear. We all need to use less antibiotics. We need to make sure that we give time for our own immune systems to control infectious diseases before we resort to antibiotics. When you take your antibiotics, you need to take the entire course, even though you might feel better within one or two days. You need to not give antibiotics to other people. You need to not flush antibiotics down the toilet. Antibiotics are fantastic drugs. They cure people of bacterial diseases that are otherwise lethal or permanent. And we need to reserve those antibiotics for when they're really needed 